what we're gonna do, I thought, to make it this easier, mm -hmm. is I'm gonna get Melissa to, we are gonna create an animal, a fictitious animal, and then we are gonna follow her through everything that I would typically do with a you. Yeah. And we're gonna start at the day that I'm gonna cedar them because I, I, I have to start somewhere in the, in in the, the life, life cycle. Uh, cycle of yeah. it and then I'll follow it through to where she lands and then we'll follow the lamb through a little bit. There might be a couple vaccinations that we won't see, but for the most part, just pretend that that's pretty much what I do. So right? I'm gonna show you how Sandy would typically set up a session and start. So we'll start with breeding a ewe and putting a cedar in. So yes. I'll show you how to set up a session and we'll go from there. Okay. What I have we would right. do is create a new session and always full session with Animal Idea because she's always scanning the animals when she runs them through. Um, so then we would give this session a name. We're gonna call it uh, Cedar uh, Test. So um, we'll add our cedars and traits in here. Do you have uh, the I have it as activity. As an activity. So we'll add an activity, a default activity. And it should just say cedar. Yep, yeah, right here. So anything else you do when you put cedars in? Uh, when no, I put them in, no. Okay. So this is what you would do. So you'd set up a session, it always has the date with it. Um, and then if you put in a default, so as an activity default, then every animal that Sandy scans, it will record that that animal got a cedar. So every yo she scans and it'll record that. So, so say okay. So then this is your basic screen. So we'll right. add in an animal. So, so we're gonna just pretend, we're gonna just put yeah, in a name. Random name. So we're gonna use, um, let's use, uh, let's use the month. So we'll call this one January, for example. So this is, so then now this animal's in, she's a current animal. If she had, if we had a, a scanned um, tag, so it would go in EID, normally it would come up uh, as here. the number on the tag because I would use the gun yep. to scan the tag and they've seen me do that before yep. on this. So then uh, that animal, it's recorded that it got a cedar and it records that it got it on April 18th at 3.46 in the afternoon. Right. So she would do her group of let's say 25 yo's and yep. they'd all be recorded in here saying that they all got cedars uh, yeah. on that day. Correct. So the next session I would go to is 12 days later, I would come in here and pull those cedars out. Right, so we're gonna go options, uh, creating a session. So Sandy is really smart because yeah. everything she does, she creates a new session. And on this, this is really important in a database system is to create a new session every right. time because it quantifies and dates and times everything. Perfect. So each time you do something new, you add a new session, then right. you have a date with it. So then we'll do a new session name and then we're gonna call this... Um, cedar pull cedar. or breed or breed. Oh yeah, okay. We could just call it breed. Yeah, so breed, oops. There's that breed. hesitation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we'll do activities. Yeah. Are your pull cedars in as that? And I think I have pull cedar and PMSG all as one, like a... Uh, to pull oh, cedar PMSG is yeah. one and then do you have ram out but we're oh, gonna do right. bread two as so a trait we're gonna do that as a trait are so we doing that yep okay because you so would this is this the new thing I did today with with um, Melissa was add bread two as the trait so we're gonna say that all of these because they're all gonna go in with the same kind of ram um, for example, for today, so they're all going to be bred to Il that's Il de Il de France, France. Rent, right? Correct. So, yeah. um, if we set that up as a trait, so that'll record that we pulled those cedars on those animals and bred them to an Il de and France. bred them to this perfect. Il de then we say okay. So we put that mom again, right? Yeah, Jan so back Jan. In again. Good old Jan. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then yeah, she's so in the system. So then now, so now we've created. Um, traits now because we're doing this all on the same day mm -hmm. our trait history will um, just have the bread too but then our activity history will have maybe there we go it will have that we put a cedar in on on the same day on the same day but normally your that history would be would say, tw that would be 12 days later yeah yeah so then then you start to create a history and um, information data about an right. animal. The next thing I do, so six weeks before they lamb, yeah. I give them a vaccination of Tazvax. So, so we can show how one. we would do that. 
So we'll do the same thing, right? So we just add a session, we'll enter a session name, we'll call it Vax uh, space. We're gonna delete all these sessions. Yes. They're just gonna be a pain in seeing these. And then I have Taz Vax uh, in under activities. activities. Yeah. And I have them twice because I spelt it wrong the first time. <laughs> I know that gives you a we rash. Should delete, we should delete that. You should delete the other we one. We can delete that. Okay. We'll do that today. It's Tazvax with an S. <laughs> oh, Find Find tag again and do Jan. Tag okay. So then she's... So she's... So now that's in. Yeah. Good. So then we've created we've created more history, right? Yeah. So each time so you do So if we go to history and go to activity, yeah. you should see all the things that... Because sometimes I actually use this a lot because... If I'm just confused or I'm like, oh, when did I do that last? Mm -hmm. At least I have it always recorded here so that animal. On, on when I did it, right? So now we'll pretend that all of a sudden now she's lambed. Yeah, so we got to see. Lamp. So this is the thing that I wanted you to come today to change some traits for yeah. and make this, make this a bit easier because I have a lot more information now on my lambing sessions. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that Jan had some lambs. So we're going to create a new session. Again, and we're gonna call it um, lambing test or lamb test, whatever. And so, what are the things that you would do? So, you're gonna add for your lambs, they get selenium, right? Yeah, um, when they're born, where is selenium? What else? So, you could put the we said we could put the date of birth as that, yeah, that's about it, like for. But for we can activities. do um, uh, life data, date of birth. You as could, a... if if they were gonna bo be born, pretty much the same yeah. day. Well, this is one yo. Yeah, so they're all gonna be born. Let's right. say, let's say today, this today, uh, the twentieth. Okay, so sex breed will change all that as we go. So that are the only things that you standardly do when they yeah. land. Yeah, that I don't put in separately, yeah, separately. after. Yes. So the this default is a huge asset. Paint. It's a time saver, it's big a time. time saver. So it creates less clicks when you're processing lambs or whatever you're processing. So we're gonna say fine tag. So we're gonna enter in some lambs. So we're gonna call. We're gonna say that this yo had, um, let's say three lambs. So we're gonna call them Feb. New tag. So things that you would normally add in okay, are. Okay. So. So first of all, I think I go to traits yep. and I add their their weight. So we do live uh, weight. I live think I weight. do. Yeah. So let's just say eight pounds. Okay. Okay, and then I go to life data yep. and I change that. I start with the sex, so we'll say it's a U. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe we should just yeah, we'll just say it's a U. Yeah. Um, date of birth. I guess we'll just keep the date of birth mm -hmm. where it is because you put that in already. And then the breed. So this is so I would scan the dam. So the dam we're gonna put Jan in as yes. the dam. Oh, we should have put Jan's dam in uh, or the her, her breed. breed. So we'll mm -hmm. say Jan was a Rito. Yeah. So so she be Rito cross all oh, the France cross right. Rito. Yep, right there. There we go. Right. Yep. And, and then the so sire yeah. would have been IDF. Yeah. If you press pedigree, you yeah. should be able to see what it was bred to. Yeah. And then it's IDF there. So yeah. then we know Jan. We know yes. she was bred to an IDF. So when I go and scan them, I now know what that lamb was. Yeah. And that's what we added in today is to if make she was my life bred easier. To. So it takes yes. a, it took a, like three steps. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. At least. Yeah. So now we know that that lamb is an Ile de France, uh, Ile de France sire, yeah. and we know she was a Rito, so we know that the breed is Rito Ile de France. Yeah. I don't worry about color, group, property. I don't really worry about all that other stuff. But page over. Yep. Yeah. And then I put number of lambs. So I. She's gonna so be a triplet. She. She sure can be. And that's all I usually put for my oh, for my stuff that I want. Yeah. So there's a lamb data. Because we put the dam in there, that creates um, a pedigree um, for the dam. And maybe we'll show them um, an actual dam that you have that's had a lot sure. of lamb. Sure. Um, see here, this is okay. a good one. So this is a dam of that lamb that we just picked, chose. Randomly? Yeah, randomly chose. And so you can see all the lambs that she's had and you can go back and click on them and see more about that animal. Uh, right? See, I don't even use that, so that's good to know. So that, 
Yo, um, when we clicked on her, she had had six, six lambs. So whether they were from... And I mean, that's just when I started taking info. So yeah. she's had more than that because we only started doing... Yes. I only started doing this when you came that one day and yeah. when I was lambing. Yeah. That's when I started. So maybe two years. So then you can tell what, uh, through that pedigree, what they've had. So that's kind of nice. Like you can look back and see... That's cool. And click on those lambs and uh, select them. So this is what I kind of was wanting when I was weighing lambs I'm like or even when I'm making a culling decision on that mom now I can click on that mom go on her pedigree and mm -hmm. say okay yeah she's maybe only she only had a single this time but man over two years she's yeah. given me eight yes or something like that and then you can maybe feel a little bit more you can give her a second yeah. chance so <laughs> she gets that's stay. a good option that's yeah. a good I don't use that yeah. that'll be really good in my culling decisions so that's awesome okay so that is good when you're lambing and I'm transferring data all the time yes. every day it that's when I was starting to mess up well, that's the nice thing about the that's two really awesome is that it's Wi-Fi capable yes. and, and we can just take one thing at a time rather than dumping the whole database back and right. forth